Here in the U.S., you have the Federal Reserve with a zero interest rate policy. In other parts of the globe, you're seeing negative yields. Corporate bond spreads, usually viewed as an area to look for for income, are on the narrow end of ranges. And the stock market is at or near all-time highs, so investors are still searching for that solution. And one of these solutions, in our opinion, is alternative credit. Well, it's based on debt and debt-based securities with a high risk return profile. And typically speaking, institution or institutional investors, ultra high net worth investors would look at private financial instruments, but there's also publicly traded alternative credit vehicles known as PACs that consists of business development companies, uh, real estate investment trusts known as REITs, as well as closed end funds. And some of the examples there would be um, looking at public corporate debt, private sector lending, as well as commercial real estate lending. That's what makes up these packs, these vehicles that I was just talking about. At Wisdom Tree, we just recently launched the Wisdom Tree Alternative Income Fund, the ticker HYIN, and that seeks to track the performance before fees and expenses of the Gap Style Liquid Alternative Credit Index, known as GLACI. And within that environment, you can use HYIN as a potential complement for your fixed income holdings, or you could also use it as a separate type of asset class using stocks and bonds, traditionally what you're uh, thinking about, as well as the alternative credit part of the portfolio. We would view this type of a vehicle more as a strategic long-term type of holding in a portfolio and hopefully to provide the income. And what we would also note is that we've seen a modest to low correlation with the equity in the bond markets and certainly with respect to interest rates. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus at wisdomtree.com.